Okay, hi guys. So today I thought we'd have a look at Burns Sensitive Treats. So this one is pork and potato. This one's also pork and potato. So let's give these a whirl. Pea starch, peas, pork fat, and seaweed. So pork isn't a normal meat that you would find in dog food. Hence, it's it's good for those with with allergies because it's not a normal meat. You normally see chicken, lamb, beef, beef, fish, things like that. As it's a different meat that dogs don't normally eat, these kind of things are normally okay for them. Now what I don't like about the pork meal is, as we've found out in tales, is that pork meal means that they've they've used crappy bits of pork or pork from animals that aren't necessarily the healthiest. So we'll lose a point for that one because uh, I really don't like meal. There's no added soy, dairy or wheat. There's no artificial flavours or colours in these, it's literally just the biscuit. And they're hypoallergenic, they're low fat. And you saw the dog actually quite enjoyed them. Uh, calories, there's 330 calories per 100 grams and in this pack there's 200 grams. So they'd have to eat half of the packet for them to eat 333 calories. It does actually seem quite high. How does it? It's about over us. 666 calories in the whole in the whole thing maybe around 10 to 20 calories per biscuit ish around that that's probably about normal and what else we have from burns is some of their sensitive complete wet meals here and what we'll just so this one is the fish, vegetables, and brown rice. And in it we have white fish 25%, vegetables, brown rice at 12%, fish oil, then minerals, sunflower oil. So in terms of their basic ingredients, there's nothing extra in there that would make me go, mm, better not touch that. Um, then they've got nutritional additives, so obviously they've added in vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin D3, vitamin E, pretty common. And they've got trace elements of a whole load of other things. So actually these are alright, there's nothing in there that makes me go, I wouldn't touch that with a barge pole. There's no added flavours, colourings, there's no fillers or you know, things that they would shove in there just to bulk out the food. They've used organic brown rice, which is great for, for sensitive dogs, for those that need um, extra help when it comes to, to food. So yes, currently, this is looking all right. It has a, um, a guideline of what your dog's weight and how much they should be eating. The other one I have is egg, vegetables and brown rice. Now, if my two ever get an upset stomach, I always give them scrambled egg or fish or chicken, all cooked so that it can bulk their system up and it can help sort their system out. And they've clearly gone for that idea and put it into a pouch, which is great. 
So we've got free range eggs at 25% and vegetables at 25%, so that's 50% of good ingredients. Then we've got brown rice, 12% minerals. How's the rest of it? And then we've got vitamins are added, same as the other ones. And then they've got trace elements exactly the same as the other packet, which is great. So, I would have to split this um, video up into two because these are obviously different. So, the wet food, I'm happy to give five out of five. There's nothing bad in these. This is basically what I'd give to my dogs if they were poorly, if they had sensitive stomachs, things weren't coming out right the other end. <laughs> this is what I would give to my dogs, but it's already done for them and in a pouch ready to go. So this is, this is great. Or perhaps if you're going on holiday, you've been feeding them one food and this is just easier for you, this would make the switch from one food to another that much easier for you. The sensitive treats, because they have meat in it, I'm going to dock them a point. They're four out of five. They're a big company. They are more than capable of putting better quality ingredients than meat meal into a sensitive food. I would have expected more than that because you do pay for their foods. These aren't cheap. They are one of the more expensive dog foods on the market. That is the burn sensitive range and <laughs> we're only inside because the weather has been very changeable today. So on that note, I will leave you to subscribe for me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.